It's Thursday, April 11th. I'm Emily Walsh. And I'm Alex Mahadavan, here to report the daily headlines. Sarasota police are in search of a homeless man for robbery. Police say 35-year-old Gregory Thompson robbed the Fifth Third Bank branch in downtown Sarasota and fled on foot Wednesday, April 10th. Video surveillance shows the teller hand an unspecified amount of cash to a man in dark glasses and a black shirt. Thompson was scheduled to appear in court April 5th to face felony charges for assault and unarmed burglary. Residents have joined forces against a Benderson development project in their neighborhood. About 100 residents have signed a petition protesting a Benderson development commercial project at the corner of Fruitville and Beneva Roads. That space is currently a city park. Benderson's contract with the city for the land has not been finalized yet. Terms of the contract dictate that first a comprehensive plan amendment must be made, a rezone must be approved, and the space must be de-designated a city park. Details of the commercial project remain unknown. Benderson has not submitted a site plan or preliminary plans yet. The Manatee Planning Commission is set to vote on a code amendment regarding chickens. The Manatee County Planning Commission will vote today on whether to modify a land development code amendment removing chickens slash poultry from the definition of farm animals. This would be the first step toward allowing urban chicken keeping in residential areas. Next, the county commission will vote on the item May 2nd. Fire ants, predators, and vandals. Oh my, plover nesting season is off to a rough start. Snowy plover nesting season began mid-March, and the volunteers tasked with protecting the birds are already facing hurdles. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is investigating vandalism to a special buffer that volunteers placed on a portion of Siesta Key sand dunes. Vandals are not the only threat. Overflowing trash cans can attract raccoons and opossums, of which are also predators of the threatened shorebirds. Penalties for malicious acts against snowy plovers can result in up to $50,000 in fines and one year in prison. Well, I sure won't be ruffling any feathers this year. Nor will I. That's all for today's daily headlines. For more community and breaking news, go online to yourobserver.com daily. And pick up a copy of the Longbow and East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. You. Your neighbors. Your, your neighborhood. neighborhood.